Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last video we did ma maison, my house, and today we are going to continue with different portions of the house. Okay, we will cover in detail the things that are found in different parts of the house. For example, la chambre. We are going to cover les meubles de la chambre. Then we will cover dans la cuisine. What all are the things that are found in a kitchen? Dans la salle de bain. Then we will cover bathroom. And then les meubles du salon. Living room. Okay, so let's begin with la chambre. Okay, la chambre is the bedroom. Le lit is the bed. L'armoire. L'armoire is the wardrobe or we can also call it almira. Then next is oreiller. Oreiller is the pillow. Okay, so as you can see it comes from the word oreille. Oreille means ear. Okay, so pillow on which we keep our ear. So oreiller. Next is la commode. Commode is the bureau. Next is le tiroir. Tiroir is the drawer and it has come from the word tire. Tire means to pull out. Okay, tiroir. So drawers are things which can be pulled out. Next is le miroir. Miroir is mirror. Then dressing table. Dressing table in French is la coiffeuse. La coiffeuse. Okay. Next is bed sheet. Bed sheet is le drap. Le drap. Next is blanket. Blanket is la couverture. La couverture. Now, we have already done bed. Bed is called lily. Bed can be of two types. It could be single bed or it could be a double bed. Single bed in French is lily simple. Lily simple. And double bed is le grand lit. Le grand lit. So, it's the big bed, double bed. That is why le grand lit. The next thing that we are going to cover in the bedroom is le tapis. Le tapis is the carpet. Next is alarm clock. Alarm clock is le réveil. Le réveil. Okay. So, se réveiller is the verb which means to wake up. So, from that comes the word réveil. Okay. The alarm clock is the thing which helps us to wake up. Okay. Next is ceiling. Ceiling is le plafond. Le plafond. And then next is floor. Floor is called le sol. Le sol. Next is door. Door is called la porte. The next one is window. Window is la fenêtre. La fenêtre. On window we have curtain. Curtain is called le rideau. Le rideau. Okay. And then there are walls in the room. So wall in French is called le mur. Le mur. There can be another thing in the room which is clock. Clock in French is called l'horloge. L'horloge. Okay. So with this, these all are the objects that are found in a room, in a bedroom. Uh, try to make sentences using these nouns, these words in the comment section and I will definitely comment you back if they are right or they need any correction. Let's move on to the living room which is le salon. Le salon has the following things. First is le canapé. Le canapé or le sofa. Okay, now as you can see, it's a sofa. Next is armchair. Armchair is le fauteuil. Le fauteuil. Next is table. 
okay in in between armchair and sofa there can be a table which is called la table la table okay then next is clock clock in salon or in the living room okay uh, it can be called la pendule la pendule the next one is the fireplace okay the fireplace is called la cheminée la cheminée okay the next one is painting there are generally paintings in the living room so painting is called le tableau le tableau again there can be curtains in a living room okay these are called le rideau le rideau floor is called le sol okay there can be cushion which is kept on a sofa so cushion is called le coussin le coussin generally there are, there are vase kept in the living room so it's called le vase le vase next is a bookshelf generally we have bookshelves in living room which is called la bibliothèque la bibliothèque the next is a coffee table coffee table is generally low in height okay and that is why it is called la table basse la table basse basse means something which is short in height or lower okay la table basse then there can generally be lamps in the living room so it's called la lampe la lampe okay a rug or a carpet is called le tapis le tapis then there can be a cabinet which is in the salon cabinet is called la vitrine la vitrine okay generally in living rooms we have televisions so television in french is called la télévision la télévision and there has to be a remote control with television which is called la télécommande la télécommande okay next one is drawer so we also have drawers generally in the living room which is called le tiroir le tiroir so let's go on to the kitchen now la cuisine we are going to do several things that are found in kitchen so the first thing that is found in a kitchen is a plate a plate is called une assiette une assiette next is balance where we can weigh several things that we are using in kitchen it is called une balance une balance next can be a mixer okay an electric mixer so it is called un batteur électrique un batteur électrique next is coffee maker a coffee maker which is electric so yun cafetier electric yun cafetier electric next is a pot a pot is called yun casserole yun casserole next is a knife knife is called un couteau un couteau a spoon spoon is called yun kayer yun kayer next is electric stove electric stove is called yun cuisinier electrique so cuisinier is something in which we cook and electric is electronic yun cuisinier electric the next one is a fork what is a fork a fork is a yun fourchette yun fourchette then we have ovens a microwave in the kitchen so microwave in french is called un microonde un microonde okay or it is generally uh, it is also called un four microonde un four microonde then next is oven mitt okay so these are called un gant de cuisine un gant de 
क्विजीन में नेक्स्ट इज टोस्टर टोस्टर इज कॉल्ड अंग्री पा अंग्री पा सो ग्रील पा पा इज ब्रेड सो समथिंग विच हेल्प्स टू टोस्ट द ब्रेड डिश वॉशर डिश वॉशर इज कॉल्ड अ लाव वेसई लाव वेसई वेसई इज वेसल्स लावे इज टू वॉश सो फ्रॉम देयर कम्स दी वर्ड डिश वॉशर अ लाव वेसई नेक्स्ट इज टी स्पून वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन स्पून विच इज इन कैयर सो नाउ इट्स अ टी स्पून सो टी स्पून विल बी इन पेतीत कैयर इन पेतीत कैयर दैट मीन्स अ स्मॉल स्पून नेक्स्ट इज अ पैन अ पैन इन फ्रेंच इज कॉल्ड इन पुआल इन पुआल देन नेक्स्ट कम्स द रोलिंग पिन ओके द रोलिंग पिन इन फ्रेंच इज कॉल्ड रूलो आ पतिशेरी रूलो आ पतिशेरी नेक्स्ट इज रेफ्रिजरेटर रेफ्रिजरेटर इन फ्रेंच इज कॉल्ड अ रेफ्रिजेरातर अ रेफ्रिजेरातर राइट नेक्स्ट इज अ सॉल्ट शेकर अ सॉल्ट शेकर इन फ्रेंच इज कॉल्ड युन सालियर युन सालियर so next is a spatula spatula in french is called une spatule une spatule okay and the last word that we are going to cover is a tea cup or a cup okay so a cup in french is called une tasse une tasse so guys these were the words that we were we have covered from the kitchen la cuisine if there are more words that you want to know please do write in the comment section and we will discuss later and i'll definitely respond you back now let's move on to the bathroom which is la salle de bain la salle de bain has following meubles or following things that we can find in bathroom so first one is shower okay so shower area is called la salle de douche la salle de douche douche is shower and salle is room next is restroom restroom or washroom is called le toilette le toilette next is a bath tub so it is called une baignoire une baignoire so to bain is to take a bath from that comes the word baignoire is the place where you'll sit and take a bath next is a shower a shower is called une douche une douche okay then next is bathroom sink okay that means we are calling talking about the wash basin wash basin is called un lavabo a lavabo and this is different from the sink that we have done in the kitchen okay kitchen sink is different and bathroom sink is different next is a tap tap in french is called le robinet le robinet next comes the soap soap in french is called le savon le savon okay so we can use a soap in bathroom or we can use a shower gel shower gel is called le gel douche le gel douche right then next is a shampoo so when we are you know doing shampoo it is uh, the the shampoo in french is called le shampooing le shampooing okay next is a toothbrush toothbrush is called une brosse à dents une brosse à dents okay next is a hair dryer a hair dryer in french is called un sèche cheveux un sèche cheveux cheveux is hair and sèche is dry okay un sèche cheveux the next one is toothpaste toothpaste is called le dentifrice le dentifrice right 
the next one is a towel a towel in french is called la serviette la serviette next is a bathroom rug okay the rug that is used in bathroom is called le tapis de bain le tapis de bain next is the comb the comb the comb in french is called le pain le pain and the last is a hair brush a hair brush is called la brosse a cheveux la brosse a cheveux so guys i've tried to cover a lot of words that are commonly used in bathroom if you still have any more words that you want to know in french please do write in comment section and do try to make sentences using these words and please write in comment section and we will check it together and i'll definitely respond you back so guys c'est tout pour aujourd'hui it's all for today prenez soin de vous take care of yourself au revoir bisous bisous